A wedding day celebration shattered by tragedy in South Carolina. The bride struck and killed by an alleged drunk driver. His sister, a daughter, a wife died in her wedding dress because someone made a terrible decision. Authorities say the newlyweds were leaving their reception in a golf cart on Friday in Folly Beach, South Carolina, when a car hit them, killing 34-year-old Samantha Miller and injuring her husband, Eric Hutchinson, and two others inside. According to an affidavit submitted by police and obtained by NBC affiliate WYFF, officers said they smelled alcohol on the breath of the driver of the car, identified as 25-year-old Jamie Lee Komorowski, and asked her to take a sobriety test, which she refused. In a GoFundMe set up by the groom's family, his mother writes that Eric is in serious condition and has a long recovery ahead. Komorowski was arrested and charged with reckless homicide and three counts of DUI involving great bodily injury or death. A heartbreaking scene for the patrons of Hawaii Now Salon in Deer Park, where police say a 64-year-old drunk driver lost control of his car Friday afternoon and crashed right into the salon's front window. Three women and a man were killed. Among the victims, 30-year-old NYPD officer Amelia Renhack, who worked in the 102 precinct in Richmond Hill, Queens. Her husband is a detective with the NYPD. Nine people were injured, some of them trapped under the car and pinned by debris from the crash. All nine victims were rushed to the hospital, including one person who had to be airlifted. Police arrested the driver, Stephen Schwally of Dix Hills, and charged him with a DWI. Schwally was also injured and taken to Good Samaritan University. University Hospital. Sad news out of New York. Authorities say at least two people were killed and seven others injured when a suspected drunk driver crashed into a Manhattan Park Thursday night during a 4th of July celebration. That incident happened just before 9 p.m. NYPD says the driver of a Ford F-150 pickup truck was speeding down the street, ran through a stop sign and drove onto the sidewalk and crashed into the crowd. It was just, just, this is just one of those tragic incidents that's really going to impact this community and we're going to come in and make sure counselors are here, uh, but it just goes to show you the job that the uh, men and our first responders have to carry out every night. Nine people were struck, including four who became trapped under the truck. Chilla, thank you. We've got some breaking news just coming in to us. We have just learned the professional hockey player and South Jersey native Johnny Gaudreau died in a crash involving a drunk driver. New Jersey State Troopers say he and his brother Matthew were hit by a car while riding bicycles last night on Route 551 in Oldman Township, Salem County. The driver had been charged with two counts of death by auto and is currently in custody. The Salem County native played for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Before that, he spent time playing for Boston College, the Calgary Flames, and Team USA. Johnny Gaudreau was just 31 years old. You know, folks, those uh, heartbreaking stories that you saw at the beginning of my video uh, pretty much explains how bad you know, drunk drive, drunk driving uh, has been spiking in this uh, in this uh, horrific country of ours. I mean, I hate to talk about my country like that, but I'm sure some of you are aware that drunk driving has been on the rise in I don't know if I'd say maybe a, a, a few states, but I think it's been going on pretty much everywhere, and I think it's getting to the point, you know, where it's getting worse. And yeah, um, I know I'm a little late on this, but uh, speaking of drunk driving, uh, you, um, of course, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are pretty aware of the news regarding the death of um, Johnny Goudreau, um, or Johnny Hockey, Hockey as they called him. Um, of course, uh, he and his brother Matthew were killed in a bicycling accident involving um, a drunk driver. This was in set. This was in South Jersey um, on I think it was a Thursday night. You know, Johnny Hockey was you know in the prime of his life. You know, just just 31 years old had a whole. He was in he was in the prime of his career. You know, had a whole future ahead of him. And to see his career, to see his life, you know, be cut short this way, you know, is just is just a travesty. You know what 
I don't know what else. I don't know what else I can say about it. But you know, it kind of reminds me of what happened in uh, Anaheim. You know, Southern California. You know, uh, the Angels baseball team. You know, had uh, a promising pitcher by the name of Nick Aidenhart. I'm sure that name rings a bell to some of you. Um, I think it was back in 2010. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that right. 2010, that I that he had one of the best performances in his life. I can't remember what game that was. I think it was a regular season game. But yeah, I think a day or two later, you know, he and a couple other passengers were killed by a drunk driver. And you know, just like Johnny Hockey, you know, Aiden Hart's career ended. You know was, you know, cut short by somebody, you know, who had really absolutely no business being behind the wheel. And, you know, right now, I just, of course, I, of course you guys know I'm a Penguins fan, and, you know, that's what this channel's all about and such, but, I mean, you just got to feel bad for uh, the Goudreau family and, um, you know, the, the Blue Jackets organization and everybody associated with, with the Blue Jackets. And, you know, this is just a horrific time right now because, you know, well, I can, I can be at least thankful that I never lost any friends to, to drunk driving or anything like that. Um, I mostly lost, uh, three, I mostly lost them to cancer. I actually lost three friends to three friends, uh, sorry, if I did, sorry, if that, sorry if that didn't sound right, I apologize for my speech issues, but yeah, anyway, I was trying to say I lost three friends to cancer, with uh, the latest one being, I think, around uh, late two, 2022, and um, of course, uh, you know, my late wife, uh, she didn't have cancer, but of course, you know, she died of a uh, of a blood clot uh, from uh, pretty much I think it was because she was overweight and all that I don't I don't mean to say that but you know the, you know being overweight you know is what can is what can, you know can also be a killer as well but you know I'll, I'll talk about that another day but um, and I also lost a friend to um, I also lost a couple friends to suicide I think I lost one to an overdose but you know thankfully I didn't really lose any you know to drunk driving and I'm, I'm just hoping it stays that way but anyway you know this is how this explains how bad this country has gotten uh, you know and it might just I guess it's also going on in the entire world as well I suppose but yeah you know this I I I don't know what else to say it's a it's just, you know, drunk driving, you know, there's people, I mean, we have public service ads out there for a damn good reason, you know, and people out there just don't even give a shit. You know, there's people out there that think, oh, nothing, can be nothing bad's gonna happen to me, I'll just go ahead and drink a couple beers, drive, go, go behind the wheel and drive, blah, 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 but, you know, what those stupid ass motherfuckers don't even realize is, when they're doing when they're doing that, they're risking the lot. They're not risking the lives of of another of others. You know, they're but they're just they're risking their own lives. You know, there's I think there's been some people before that drove drunk and they end, and they ended up killing themselves in the past. But I mean, anyway, you know, for Johnny Gaudreau to for his career to be cut short like this, you know, it's just just way beyond heartbreaking. And um, right now, um, the only thing I can say is that uh, my condolences are with his family and everybody within the, the Blue Jackets organization, all of his friends, fans, loved ones. And it's just a very, very sad time right now. So, um... But yeah, anyway, um, you probably, so, I'm sure some of you may remember that uh, those public service ads at Miller, Miller Brewing uh, used to run back in the day, which said, please think when you drink. And you know, that's what people need to do. They need to think 
when they drank. And, you know, because, you, cause you know, we're taking chances, you know, by drinking and being behind the wheel is, is just not worth it. I mean, you got to... Like, I mean, if you're drunk, I mean, you got to at least get a designated driver or maybe you can get a taxi or, or a bus or whatever. But, you know, folks, I mean, just please, you know, just don't, please don't drink and drive. You know, it's just, it's just, it's a horrible decision and, you know, you're going to end up paying for it. So, but yeah, anyway, uh, I just... This just explains, you know, how frustrated I am, you know, with this country, with a lot of stuff being on the rise, you know, including um, drunk driving. In fact, um, as much as I hate to say this, you know, I'm I'm really ashamed of of being an American, you know, given the way this country is going right now. And some people can blame it on the Democrats. Some people can blame it on the Republicans, you know. But I'm, you know. I, I, as far as whose side I'm on, I'm not really going to tell you. I'm, I'm actually more of an independent guy, but yeah, I'd rather not, uh, I'd rather not, um, you know, take sides on this. It's just, you know, I just wish people out, I just, you know, this country has a lot of stupid ass people out there. It's, you know, there's people out there who are that, like that numb minded, you know, they just don't give a shit. And, you know, what happened with uh, Johnny Hockey, you know, um, that was, of course, because of a stupid motherfucker. And I hope he rots in jail, you know, for the rest of his life. I hope he never gets bail. I hope he never gets out. Because I'm going to tell you, that son, the son of a bitch that killed him, I can tell you right now, is going to get exactly what he deserves. So, yeah, anyway, um... I do thank you for watching. I apologize if this is a long video. And of course, you know, I have speech problems and all that. But um, anyway, uh, like I said, you know, just I'm keeping uh, the Gaudreau family in uh, in uh, my, my thoughts and prayers. And I'm asking all of you, whether you're a Penguins fan or not, I'm asking all of or whether you're a Blue Jackets fan or not. It doesn't matter. What, it, I guess it doesn't matter which team you follow. But yeah, anyway, please... Uh, Say a prayer for the for the Gaudreau family and Johnny's uh, Johnny Hockey's fans and friends and loved ones and you know especially the Blue Jackets organization. You know it's just a, just a sad sad time right now. All right, thank you.